Understanding the shifting global power dynamics is important to navigate the international arena efficiently and to build successful alliances. It can help to identify the challenges and opportunities in global politics and predict the upcoming changes and challenges for better policy making. Power dynamics influence both internal and external decision making of a country. Hello everyone, I'm Fatima Binti Zahid and today we are going to discuss the rise of the Global South. In 1974, the United Nations General Assembly established the new international economic order highlighting the global significance of developing nations. Since then, the nations of the Global South have left a lasting impression on the global economic landscape. The ascendancy of the Global South marks a significant transformation in global power dynamics. The Global South now has the opportunity to address its aspirations and concerns and build more inclusive and sustainable agendas. The collective economic strength of the South has also increased significantly in the last couple of decades. In this situation, the narrative of a united Global South is gaining popularity. The term Global South gained momentum after the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991. It identifies several nations that are sometimes referred to as developing or less developed nations. It is more of a geopolitical term than a geographical term. These countries have a mix of political, geopolitical and economic commonalities and are often former colonies. With its increasing GDP contribution, the Global South presently makes up around 40% of the global GDP and 85% of its people. China and India are regarded as the Global South's traditional economic leaders. Many emerging economies in the Global South have had faster real GDP growth in recent decades. The growing economies have given them greater influence. The Global South has demanded a thorough overhaul of the global financial architecture. The adoption of a more coordinated and inclusive approach to global fina financial governance, a stronger focus on international cooperation and an increase in the representation of developing nations in international decision making. Since 2000, the Global South has taken a more active part in world politics and is calling for increased representation in organizations such as the UN Security Council. In order to foster a more stable and peaceful environment conducive to sustainable growth, they seek a more just and equitable international order that is representational, logical and fair. However, there exist impediments to the Global South's significantly increased involvement in international politics. Different countries have quite different interests in the Global South, which vary according to factors like geographic size, economic development level, natural resources and geographic position. In the Global South, there is also an absence of leadership. The rise of the Global South challenges the Global North's historical hegemony and redefines the parameters of global governance, marking a dramatic change in the international system. To learn more about the rise of the Global South, check out my latest commentary titled Shifting Power Paradigms Exploring the Rise of the Global South at our website www.bips.org.bd. That's all for today. Thank you.